guys, welcome to Those Jerky's Times 3. My name is Kenisa and today we are doing an updated dog food cooking routine. Showing you guys the new thing that we're doing with their food if you guys do recall I did do a dog food cooking video about a year ago I will leave that in the cards above and so we're just changing it up so primarily it's because of this guy right here Marley so he was on a bit of medicated canned food because he was having too much fat in his food for a little bit and so I had him on the medicated canned food and then one day he was loving it loving it then one day he decided he wasn't gonna eat it anymore so we had to make some adjustments and so I put him back on the chicken and he was eating that, eating that and then he just refused to eat that as well. So I decided to change up their food and give them different things to eat every so often <coughs> instead of just feeding them the same thing over and over again. So this will be a new series on our channel where I'll just show you guys the new recipes that I come up with to feed the dogs. So today we are doing the recipe that they've been on currently for about a month and I will be changing it up probably within the next month and they'll have something else and I'll just update you guys on that. So without further ado, let's get into the cooking. guys so these are the ingredients that I use so I do just go to my local grocery store Kroger and I get the peas and carrots because Marley really likes peas I do also add in there some chopped kale just a great value brand and of course I still like to make sure they're getting organs so I still do do the chicken gizzards and chicken hearts and of course I have two brown eggs and I also use well in a bag brown rice and the last thing that I do add is ground turkey. I also usually do add an egg, but I just forgot to pick one. I mean, not an egg. I also add an apple usually. I just forgot to pick one up from the store today. And the tool I use is this blender. Same blender that I used in the last video. It's been a little jaded, as you can see, but it still gets the job done. All right, so let's get started. All right, guys, so first things first, we're just filling the water pot up. And the first thing I like to do is put in the chicken gizzards and hearts. So I like to just make sure I just rinse them off with a little bit of warm water and just put them into the pan. I do put those on the stove first by themselves because they take longer to cook. So I like to make sure they're cooking the longest. I can make sure they're cooked all the way through. It's always important wherever you're doing anything that's raw preparing, any type of raw meat in your sink that you bleach it out. So I just wanted to show that part. So I'm just using a little bleach and some wipes and I am just cleaning out the sink. Also make sure you wash your hands afterwards so you don't cross contaminate. And just one more rinse out of the sink. All right, so I am putting the chicken hearts on the stove and I am adding the eggs. And as you guys did see, I did put it on high. So while I'm waiting for the chicken hearts to start boiling, I am gonna go ahead and start cooking the turkey meat. All right, so we're just getting it cut open and I'm just dropping them in. And I do like to make sure I get the ground turkey as finely ground as possible. So I do spend a lot of time just smashing it in and trying to break up the big chunks because I do want it a certain consistency for the dog. So I want to make sure it's nice and smooth. So the turkey meat is done and I'm just adding that to their bowl. As you did see, there is some water left in there and I do like to leave that in there. I think it helps with the seasoning and the rice usually, whenever we get to the rice, it usually um, sops up all the water, but I just think it helps with the flavoring of it. All right, so now that we have the chicken hearts and gizzards and eggs boiling, I do wanna go ahead and add two bags of brown rice. Um, I only leave the brown rice in literally for about five minutes. I don't like the rice to get too, too soggy. I like it to have a certain consistency. I don't like their food too wet. So I try to minimize as much water as possible. All right, so the rice has been in there for about maybe five minutes. So I'm just draining as much 
water as possible from the rice and getting them out and I'm just placing the bags into the bowl with the meat so just try to really shake it out as much as possible now after the rice is out we're gonna go ahead and get the vegetables boiling and the chicken hearts are still in there because I just want them to boil the longest so I am just dumping the rice into the meat and I am just getting that mixed up I do like to go ahead and just mix the rice and the meat alrighty so we have our vegetables broiling and now I'm just draining all the water from the vegetables and adding it into the blender. So I do just want to get as little bit of water as possible. Of course, we need a little bit of water in there to make it blend, but just not too much water. All right, so it is blending. All right, so the first thing I do when I get the blender out is I take the blade out, try to get as much food off of that, and then I just dump the rest of the food into our food bowl and this usually lasts us about a week and I just like to make sure I mix it up really good so it, you see you guys it's a very good consistency it's not too watery and now the dogs are eating safe to say they enjoyed their dinner Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and like seeing the new updated cooking routine. Please leave in the comments below what meals you make for your dogs, if you do make meals for your dogs, and we can compare and contrast recipes. And don't forget to check out our website, www.thosejerkiestimes3.com to look at some cool, fashionable, 100% handcrafted cotton rope leashes that we do offer. Definitely like to thank you guys for watching Those Jerkies Times 3. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Bye guys!